especially today because temperatures once again climbed up into the triple digits for a lot of our inland locations. Right now, Claremont still feeling very hot. Temperatures in the mid to low 80s, and we do have some lighter gusts picking up. The good news, though, that it's not a very gusty night. But here's a look at where that fire is burning to kind of give you perspective. Perspective. It is north of the 210 freeway. This is town, this is mountain, and then right over here, this is Indian Hill. So you can see out the door right now, Claremont, which is just south of where that fire is burning, about 85 uh, degrees with winds coming in from the west. The humidity is pretty low. That means it's very dry outside, and with that vegetation, that makes it perfect for these fires to really grow. But you can see that fire crews are getting a better handle on it. So you can see it is just north of Town Avenue where we have Webb Canyon here, and the Webb Canyon also shoots out almost like a fork in that. That direction. Otherwise, out the door right now, we are still feeling very hot conditions. 91 degrees for San Bernardino, 88 for Ontario, 81 for Fullerton. And you pair that with all that humidity that continues to stream in from Mexico. That is why it felt so sticky for us here. We're just not used to all that moisture in our atmosphere. We are used to much drier heat. But today, with that heat, you pair it with the humidity, it just felt even hotter. 76% humidity right now for LAX, 71 for Santa Ana. And then also where that fire is burning in Claremont. This is why we have the excessive heat warning being issued not just today but as we head into the weekend because things are only going to get worse. And temperatures today uh, topped out, like I said, into the triple digits for a lot of our inland communities, especially for those in the Inland Empire. Tomorrow we're looking at much more widespread triple digits. And then just recently, within the last few minutes, the heat advisory has also been expanded to include areas like the coast and also a big portion of Orange County. But these are all the cities that are under this heat warning. As we head into the weekend, that includes parts of Ventura County, Simi Valley, Thousand Oaks, Calabasas, Glendale, the San Gabriel Valley, including Arcadia down to Roland Heights, to Chino Hills, also to Pomona and the IE. And this is where that fire is burning, so just north of Rancho Cucamonga as well, and then Fontana, and as well as we head farther out east to Beaumont. Hemet and also Cabazon. Tonight, overnight lows, it's going to take a while for a lot of these cities because we topped out really hot today to even recover from the heat. So, a lot of the cities will see overnight lows hovering in the upper 60s, except for the mountains in the upper 50s and then mid 70s for the high deserts. You can see widespread, much more of those triple digit heat tomorrow. So, it's definitely going to feel worse. 107 for as we head into Friday, 107 for Palmdale, 103 for West Covina, 108 for San Bernardino. And then here's a look at the next seven days. So tomorrow, Saturday, will probably be the worst. We start to cool down just slightly for Sunday, meaning that humidity leaves the area. But you can see the temperatures, the hot conditions stick around. Back to you.